Today I'm going to review this JKM Bugatti, uh, I think it's Cento Daichi and I also want to compare it to a Mini GT. I have reviewed this properly in another video so I want to feature more of this one and it looks spectacular. Really solid model, rolls very smoothly. It looks brilliant. So let's go ahead and look at this in detail. Here's the packaging for the Bugatti Cento Daichi 2019. I think that's the correct pronunciation. Do let me know if that's wrong. Very plain box. It says Bugatti official licensee used under license. So there we go, that's an official version. Uh, usually it comes the hollow foil sticker. I don't see that on. Maybe it was just extra cost, so they couldn't be bothered. But we get this CAD file image of the car from above and from the side and from the front and from the back. So nicely decorated little box. Inside it's like a Tomica where you get it in. It's quite a thick piece of plastic. Card. Um, here we have the vehicle itself. So let's take a close up look at this. Starting with the front, lots of details here. So first of all, we've got a really nice front grille and paintwork is pretty, pretty well done. Very, very small bleed over into the black grille area. So it's really nicely segregated. And we've got silver highlights here. It's not quite reached that little bit, but close enough. And we've got a really finely detailed Bugatti logo there. Now let's have a look at the rest of this. So you can see the dashboard, you can see the, the color for the steering wheel. Metal wing mirrors. Very small window here. Design feature from the roof. This is what it looks like. Metal spoiler. I think that's been separately attached, glued on. Yes, it's been glued on here on the back. Um, I'm getting into too many things, so let's just do the back view here. So you can see here we've got this brilliant red light bar across, and that's in plastic insert. Uh, then we've got exhaust, all these fine little details, the blue paint over the black. Very nicely done. Let me zoom out a little bit. There we go. And from the side, the tyres. The tyres don't look as sharp as they could be. Like maybe Mini GT does it better. But they spin very well. And even got the Bugatti logo right in the centre of that rim. Got some black paint here on the edge of this metallic blue. Very nice. On the bottom, not much detail. We've got screws on this model so you can customize it, take it apart. Some people like to do that. But again, I did do a review of the Le Voiture Noir and really, really, and you know, really enjoyed that model. This one, very similar. Just some slight silver could have gone in there, I think. And let's have a look at the back engine detail. There we go. You can see that through the back window. And here on the side, some black paint extra for these details. Again, another solid model from JKM. Really nice. If you're into Bugatti's, this is a great 164 brand to have a look at. They've done quite a few. Uh, and I thought I'd also show a comparison. This is the Mini GT. 
so the tires they look better on the Mini GT version, maybe a wheel swap. The black underneath compared to this highlight, you know, got a better air section here. And on the front, which is very important, yeah, you can see, you know, finer details. It's just this Mini GT is just finer, just a little bit finer than the JKM version. The only problem is this one has got this kind of indent in the roof, which I was not happy about. So a bit of quality control there. The back, again, Mini GT overall, the model I would say is better, but plastic spoiler. I like metal spoilers. The engine in the back, it's just done better, and you can see. But Mini GT is more expensive than JKM. So, you know, but I think for your money's worth, this is a great model and it's one of my favourites because it, it's just heavier. And this black part here is a bit smaller here. I'm not sure who's got the more accurate casting. This one appears to be slightly narrower than the other. And also slightly longer. So I'm not sure what's going on there. But both of them really great models. Let down by QC issues. But for me, yeah, the heaviness of this wins out for me because in hand it's just you know it might not look as good in the pictures but when you have it it's just it feels just more premium because of the weight I guess if you look at the interiors of both of these this one's got the better interior also I prefer the metal wing mirrors it's not as accurate as this one but I just don't like these I don't always agree with these rubber things I think it's a good solution and an innovative one, but I do prefer something a bit more solid. And here we've got the black paint. There we've got nothing. So it's, well, it is there, but it's not quite uh, as pronounced as this. Maybe because this is in blue and this is in white, so the contrast is more easily seen. But again, here we've got like a separate, you know, you can see the panel line around it which is much clearer than this one. So you've got pluses and minuses. I mean, overall, I think the Mini GT is better, but like I said, I just prefer this version here, the JKM version, for this model anyway. So there we go. I hope that's a good enough close-up for you if you're interested in purchasing this model, or if you want to find out more about JKM, I think, you know, they've put out quite a few for you guys. I've got, I've got the Devo as well to review for you. Uh, and I think they go really well together. So, really liking these. Right, let's get this on the turntable. Check this out. Looking smooth, really nice. That blue paint finish. Looks fantastic. I think it's available in other colours as well, but blue is one of my favourite colours, so I had to go for that one this time. I like the way that they've got the silver paint for the wing mirrors as well. Overall, solid model. Let me just put the Mini GT next to it so you have an idea what they look like together. Again, Mini GT, brilliant model, a bit more expensive. You get what you pay for. And here you can see the Bugatti name right there. And it's also on here too, just even tinier. Lots of details to appreciate in both models. You can just take your pick. I like how this 
this part here, this has got, got like a nose, and this one is just like smooth. So maybe it's a different version of the vehicle. I'm not sure. Maybe we've got a more pronounced tail light as well, like each of those red parts. Overall, you can't really go wrong with either model. So I hope you enjoyed this review. Drop a like and a comment. If you got these, let me know which one you think is better, or of the brand JKM. And uh, see you in the next video. Take care.